Hello beautifuls. Welcome to my YouTube channel. This is we are gonna be trying out the next um can't stop won't stop foundation and the Leanne Conceal Plus Perfect to One Foundation. I have gotten medium olive in the NYX foundation and I got deep beige in the Million, and I also got these two NYX Cosmetics Concealers, the um, HD Studio Photogenic one, in the color beige, and I got Born to Glow in the color natural. And the total for these four products was forty two dollars. I got these at my local um Walmart. I also know Ulta has um some drugstore brands. There's not an Ulta close to me, sadly, so we went to our local Walmart. We're gonna swatch these first. Um I really don't know what color foundation I am. And you can't swatch them at um, Walmart. They don't have a swatch test for none of them. So we're going to swatch them right now. Let's go on with the next foundation. Let's see. Here's that swatch. I'm going to apply a little bit of swatch with on my phone to see. Also, it does not smell good. It doesn't smell bad either, necessarily. Here's a little bit, as you can see. I like a little bit of redness on my cheeks, blemishes. But it kind of took out the redness a little bit. Um, well, let's show you. Here's what the bottle, oh gosh. Here's what the bottle looks like. Um, This has your average little pump. That most common foundations have. It's a glass bottle though. This is also a glass bottle, but here's the bottle for it. The top, I though will say, is different compared to others I've ever seen. It's cute. Here's the other one. They're not that much off, but the next one is a little bit lighter than the Milan one. Um, and they, they do look a, little, a lot different when they're together. This one is a lot darker and this one's a lot lighter. And the next, I said, sadly could not find them a lot darker because I feel like once I apply it, it's gonna be really, really light, and I'm kind of tannish um, also if either one of these didn't work i was just thinking about mixing them together and hopefully creating a more a formula better for my skin but here's the swatches so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna i'm gonna prime first Something. I'm not mad. 
I think the foundation's the color. I will say this one's a little bit more like sheer. And I feel like if I keep me applying it, they will build up. This one for sure covered, especially right here, you could tell where it didn't cover. And my skin on this side looks a little bit more bright than on this one where it looks really dull, but it still looks like a beautiful complexion, so I can tell. Not mad at either side. I really like the colors. So I went back in and um, did a second layer on both sides. The Milani and the NYX. I will tell y'all, I'm so impressed with the coverage. I only had to go on a second layer. And my face is like no redness, no blemishes, just a clean slate. The camera just doesn't do justice. Probably would because I'm on an iPhone. But I feel like if I had the real deal camera, it would do slightly a justice. Coverage on these for a drugstore is amazing. Truly amazing. I will say, no, I'm not picking favorites, but the NYX. That does slightly give me a more coverage look. Than the Milani. But I will say, I am not mad at either of these foundations at all. I love the coverage. Will I be using these for future uses? Absolutely. Because I am not mad at the results for these foundations. When I first went in there, I took it. Um, some new foundation because, as y'all know, high-end makeup is a lot, a lot more expensive, especially when you're given the same amount of fluid ounces in a bottle as a drugstore. You really start to question like, why, why pay so much for this? If they have it in this. And it's just as much full coverage. So, I will say, I'm impressed. I really am. I really, really am. I would definitely recommend both of these. If you're lucky enough to find your shade, please go for it. I really, I really am really impressed. Like, I usually don't go for drugstore makeup anymore. For, for one of the many reasons that they're not full coverage. The price is decent, but you pay what you get for. And they just look really sheer. And you can never swatch your um, foundation to see what color you are. But I will say, I did pretty good for just eyeballing it. <laughs> really, I just got brought my phone out and I was just doing this in the store. Taking a picture, looking at the picture. Okay, that kind of looks like my shade. And if not, I guess I could just go darker or lighter, depending on how it looks on me when I apply it. But I will say, I'm loving this. This is giving me like um, the Huda Beauty foundation vibes on this side. Because the one I have is really like sheer looking. It kind of brightens my skin up a little bit, which I like that for when I apply um bronzer and highlight and blush it like really brings them out brings me a more glowy natural look but the milani one also just like blends in with my skin so well it looks like i'm really not even wearing foundation unless you like get up really close you can tell but it looks like i'm just a natural like i would definitely use this for a natural everyday look i feel like if i go maybe another layer or if I was, you know, on my whole face. I feel like I might wear it out if I was going to, like, a dinner, a party, to the club, anywhere. I feel like I would, for sure. But I am loving the NYX. And I like the smell a little bit better on the NYX, too. But I really like them both, honestly. If you're looking for an affordable, full coverage foundation, be sure to check these out. 
And if there's any foundations that y'all would like me to try out that I have not yet, please comment them below or shoot me a message if you have me on any social media. And I will be sure to go, you know, to my local drugstore. And if I can't find it, I guess I'll make a trip to Ulta. But we will try these foundations because I'm all about saving money and getting my coverage. Um, I should have done a swatch of these two concealers before I applied them on my face. Because your face and your hand colors are different, if you didn't know. But, oh well. I was going to get um the Milani concealer as well. But, it's like... This is basically a foundation and a concealer, as you can tell, it says on the bottle, foundation and concealer. If I feel like it conceals my face, then I really won't use it, which I'm going to go in underneath on this side. Actually, no. I'm just going to do one of each on each side. I'm going to go in with the Born to Glow on the Milani side and the HD Studio on the NYX side. They're both NYX, but... I feel like if we want to justify this, we have to do it the right way. Yeah, I got this in color natural. It was really hard to look for my shade. Oh, that is new. Um, I don't like these things on any makeup product. It's not me. The only time I would use one if it was for the lips. But it's not me having one of these. I just feel like it attracts a lot of... You know, like old, old foundation, and you know, to keep rewashing it and the color coming out. It's not really worth it to me. I don't know. I'm just picky. I prefer, let's see. Yeah, I prefer a little wand. Because it's already wet and moist, so you know. I don't know. I'm just weird. This is in the color. Can I tell y'all beige? And wouldn't go right underneath my eyes on this half. A few little ones like that. She mm. smells a little bit bad. I don't expect drugstore makeup to smell good either. Alright, we're gonna. If I can see it starting to peep through. <gasps> That's kind of cute. Okay, we're just gonna do something for this one. Okay. Now I'm gonna go with this, but I'm gonna damp it off a little bit. Actually, I'm gonna go start with the next side first. Since I started that one, I like to let my concealer sit a little bit, just so it really you know, sets in the skin. I will say I'm not liking it. <laughs> I think this is not my shade. I forgot to swatch. Here, let's swatch them really quick. Um, as y'all can see, it left me like, as I blended it out, it got into my nose, so it looks really, really light. swatched the natural one is a lot lighter than the paint one right let's go in with this i think both of these were no go for me either or they are way, way too light. Um, I know because they are supposed to be light, but I like mine to be just one shade lighter than my foundation. Just one. I like it to give me a bright eye look underneath and the highlighted areas. But I also like it to be kind of close enough to my foundation where, you know, it gives you that look and effect. But it's not like crazy. I will, I do definitely, definitely like these. Especially the Born to Glow side. I like how I like the formula of it. 
I will most definitely be going back to look for a little bit darker shade. For sure. But I'm not mad at the formulas, I just don't like the color necessarily. This side is supposed to be meant to make your eye underneath brighter from what I read about it. So I understand that this one is really, really bright compared to this one. Like, I feel like I blended this side pretty out pretty good. But this side still looks like she hasn't made it through next week. So that was the video for the two foundations that are new to me. They've been out for a while. I'm not exactly sure how long, but you know, I'm, I'm always about saving money and still getting your coverage. So my honest opinion and reviews about the foundation, I was really, really, really disappointed with Milani's. Um, I was really expecting like something better I was, I had my hopes really high because Milani, I consider it kind of like a high end just because of its packaging and just its gold letters. Like, I don't know. <laughs> but I, I wasn't too really happy with it. It was, I don't know if it's, it was because I didn't find the tr my true shade. Um, I just wasn't, I wasn't really happy with it. I love the little bottle though. I love the pump. And would I use this again? Mm, maybe, maybe. If I ran into it and that was the only foundation on the shelves, would I grab it? No, no. But I mean, there's still plenty of other Milani products that I do like. So, you know, I'm not disappointed with the brand itself, but I'm disappointed with this foundation. So hopefully they come out with a new foundation really soon, and I'll be really happy to try that out. And I hope they can improve this and make it better. I think it was more the coverage on this one. It's buildable, but I don't really know. I, I think it's really the color that I couldn't um find my right shade. Maybe if I, I'm going to retry to find this. A different shade i'm gonna retry this foundation i might like it better you know i'm all about giving it's like an opportunity to beauty products because it takes so long to get a product to be with all these chemicals it takes like so long for the progress to get a, a formula that you really like so i'm not too too mad at this 
it's not the worst foundation ever it's not there are plenty of other foundations that beat it to the worst so i would give it a 7 out of 10 but if you're lucky enough to find your shade or if you have your shade please let me know how you feel about this foundation or link me to other videos in the comments below who've tried this foundation that really liked it because i would love to see the reviews and maybe to see techniques they use for this so it can like really set into their face now for the next can't stop won't stop foundation let me tell y'all when we're obsessed um this foundation is like a really good coverage foundation and it's kind of expensive but not too much but for its price yes yes um i'm just so impressed with it like my thing is i don't like to go for drugstore makeup because one they don't give you that color or coverage depending on the product that you want like for makeup palettes <sighs> no drugstores no they don't have that like rich rich formula that these high ends do so i really i really avoid drugstore makeup at all costs except lashes and brushes but other than that I avoid drugstore makeup at all costs. I'd rather pay a few extra bucks than to mess with any drugstore makeup. Just because I've had really bad experience with certain products and also a foundation a while back when I first started do when I first started to do my makeup. Not actually do makeup for content, but to do my own makeup. It was just like a bad experience um, with the foundation and the powder. It just wasn't what's for me. But, you know, I just had, like I said, I, I like to give second tries to makeup products because I'm like, after watching so many videos from so many influencers and you see what all the progress they had to go to to find the formula, the color, their packaging for their product, it's like, okay, it goes a long way, you know, you need to be grateful for what you have. So, I decided to give it a second go. And I was really impressed. Really, really impressed. Um, it's it's sheer your first round, but not too sheer. But it's not like coverage, coverage. If you go in with the second layer, it gives you that coverage you really want. But if you're just going for a natural look, I think with one, just one layer, you're good. I was going for a coverage, coverage because I was like, we're gonna test this baby out to the max. It's it's a really good foundation. It is full coverage, like it says on here. Um, it does have a matte finish. It also has it on the bottle. It's a it's a twenty four hour matte finish. Full coverage foundation, and this is in the color medium olive. This color wasn't so so off with my skin color. After I put on the powder, the bronzer, and contoured a little bit. It, you couldn't really tell so I did pretty good picking out a shade just eyeballing it <laughs> I'm really really impressed and like I've mentioned this this foundation remind me of the Huda Beauty foundation um just the coverage it doesn't it doesn't smell as great as the Huda Beauty foundation but the coverage is just like it uh, I feel like if you ever run into this or you see it, go go ahead try it. You're gonna you're gonna become obsessed with this because it's a really good coverage foundation. Like it really really is for the price. That's a really good foundation because you would think because it's cheaper, it's not as good. But I really liked it. Press overall, but yeah, I'm really impressed. With the NYX Professional Makeup Can't Stop Won't Stop Full Coverage Foundation. Um, I'm actually really ex excited to try any more NYX products. This is the first yes to me for NYX. I've tried their, their setting sprays. Some lipsticks. And some primers. 
probably this one right here. I've heard like really, really good stuff about this. I just didn't like the smell to it, so I, I avoided it at all costs to use it on my face. It's a good primer. I just don't like the smell. I like my primers to be having some kind of um, fruity floral scent because sometimes foundations just smell like chemicals and it's just, it, I don't want someone to get close to me and be like, you know, she smells like chemicals on her face. But yeah, the next was a 10, 10 for me. Now we're gonna be talking about the concealers. Here they are. They're both NYX. Um, I couldn't find a Milani concealer, but in my shade at least. But this one says it's a Conceal Plus Perfect foundation. So I was like, it has a, some concealer type to it. So I was like, I think I'll be okay. And I ended up just buying these two so I can try one on each side. Um, I really didn't like the concealers as much. And downside for me, I didn't like the applicator it came with. I prefer applicators like so. I wasn't really obsessed with the concealers. They were like a 5 out of 10 for me. This one though did brighten up my under eye. Um, I did like that about it. It actually did brighten it up. But I wasn't necessarily impressed. They were a little bit hard to blend. A lot. It took a lot, a lot more time to blend them than my normal concealers. And I think they were a little bit way, way too light for me. I like my concealers a little bit light so they can, like, you know, do their purpose of brightening areas. But I think these were way, way too light for me. I would probably try this this one again, the Born, because, like I said, I really liked how it brightened up my eyes. It, they were a little bit light, but not too, too much. Like I said, after... I applied like my full face. It all kind of just wore down its way. But I would probably go for a little bit darker shade than this, just a little bit. I might even consider going for like darker shades to like contour. I don't really use cream products to contour. I like to stick with powders. But they're not really, powders don't really necessarily contour me as good as cream products that I've, I've seen. Yeah, so these were all 510 for me. Like I said, it was mostly because of the color and how hard it was to blend out. And then once I blended out, it looked so sheer that I had to go with the second layer. That's when it kind of looked decent. But overall, um, I wasn't too, too disappointed with the products. Mostly because I didn't, I couldn't find a way to like test them out in the store so I could find the right shade. So that's partially on the drugstore's behalf and not mine. Like I mentioned, if you ever run into the NYX Cosmetics um, and you see the Can't Sell Want to Foundation, please grab it. You will not be disappointed. Um, so that was all.